Hello, my YouTube family. I pray that all is well. I pray that God continue to bless all of you on today. Today is the 22nd of January, Friday, 2021. This is hashtag 2021 goals and hashtag setting goals. Even though we're in the 20 second day of the new year once again happy new year i know people stop saying happy new year but we're still in the new year right <laughs> yes yeah, so um my day, day 22 affirmation is this um to continue to love live and appreciate life because life is so short i remind of a scripture the half-brother of Jesus Christ, James, said this. He said in James 4, James chapter number 4, verse 14, it says this. Whereas you not, know not what shall it be on the morrow. Well, let's put it this way. James is saying this. We should not know what shall it be for tomorrow. For what is life? And this is not the definition of life. This is the analogy of life. It's what life does. It says, for what is life? Not the definition, but the analogy. Right? For what is life? It is even as a vapor. Once again, this is an, the analogy of, of life. Is life is what life does. Right? It's not the definition. It says this. It is even as a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanish, vanishes away. So this is what life does, you understand? And what have you. Yes, um, I, I, I say that all that to say this because we don't know what shall it be for tomorrow, for life is uncertain. One minute we're here, and one minute we're gone. Not to say that we cannot, in essence, um, fulfill our goals and destiny here on this earth. You understand? We can we can do that. We can fulfill our purpose and destiny and what have you, your visions and goals in life. But let's be candid here. We we only have but a short time. Why we have but a short time on this earth in, in this probationary period of life between the, the, the you could say, the cradle to the, the grave, so to speak, um, is this. Uh, we, this is my affirmation. I, we got to continue to love life. You got to love your life. Each and every day you wake up loving on yourself and loving others you understand because love is the christian thing to do the bible says that god is love and that's a sharing attribute that god shares to us that's a, a communicable attribute that god shares for us you understand so we got to love life and we got to love the life of others. You understand? For scripture says somewhere in first epistle of John, it says God is love. Notice how it says love is not God because if love is God, that makes love the, a deity. You understand? As opposed to an attribute of God. So God is love. So he dispenses his love. God the Father sent his son Jesus to die for our sins. That was agape love. Unconditional love um, being expressed on the cross a little over 2,000 years ago. So we got to love life. And I'm not going to get into the, the Greek, four Greek definition of love. Because you have agape love. We have filius love. We have... Eros love and you have uh, Sergei love. 
Eros love is unconditional love, self-sacrificing love, and love without condition. Uh, you have philios love, that's friendship love, where we get the word Philadelphia from. The, the etymology is philios. You understand? Um, brotherly love, friendship love. And you have um, Eros love, that's a, 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 a sexual love for a husband to a wife and a wife to a husband. And you have uh, Sergei love, is a parental love f uh, from a, a parent to a child and vice versa, uh, child to, to the parents and what have you. So we got the love, love life. We got to live life. Live life to the fullest. Because we only got one life to live. You understand? We got to live life to the fullest. You understand? Live life. You understand? Don't be afraid to um to to leap. Don't be afraid to leap. And what have you. Don't afraid to leap. What I mean by leap. Um because we only got one life to live, it's okay to take that that intelligent risk, that adventure. You understand? All too often, I keep hearing this this reoccurring theme uh, through people of great stature, um, whether it be TV personalities, um, you know, or motivational sp speakers. I keep hearing this word leap. Take an intelligent risk. Take a a risk in terms of fulfilling your your purpose and your goal. Take that leap. You understand? It it won't harm you to pretty much take that leap. You know, if it's a passion of yours that you have that fire and desire, that passion, it's okay to take that leap. You understand? You got to live life to the fullest. Um, the ancient text in Ecclesiastics it, it talks about Enjoy life, enjoying, eating, drinking, and marrying. You know, because life is so short. It's fleeting. It's so short. So we got to love, live life, and appreciate life. We got to appreciate life. Having an attitude of gratitude about life. You understand? Because if you don't have an attitude of gratitude, you, you're not appreciative. You're not... um. You're not thankful. You're not grateful of life. So we got to get to the place, my beloved brothers and sisters, that we got to appreciate life. Appreciate life. Life is short. You know, especially, we're still hearing, you know, lives being lost because of this COVID-19, this pandemic. But, um, you know, when you, when you think of, of mortality, you know, we got to take a pause button for a moment. And, and, and just really think and ponder about life because life is so short, it's so precious. Uh, we got to appreciate life. So we got to continue to love, live, and appreciate life because life is so short. And that is my 22 day affirmation, all right? Just want to say I love you all. You have a wonderful, blessed weekend. And shalom, which means in Hebrew, peace. All right? Enjoy your weekend. Goodbye.